My name is Fred and in this video number 15 I'll start with vectors. I want to make two vectors a and b and their sum. So a is equal to 2 comma 1. By using the small letter a I show the system that it is a vector not a point. There it is here in the algebra window I can see it is made in the right fashion with 2 above 1 and it is drawn over here in the graphics window. So b is equal to 1 comma 3. The sum c equals to a plus b. I want to make them look a little bit different so I'll color them a little. A red vector and a blue vector. Now I want to draw the vector b starting where a ends. So I'll draw the vector with a starting point. The starting point is 2 comma 1 and the end point is 3 comma 4. That is so I can see that adding B it was early on. This is representation of B. So A plus B equals to C. I want to restart. So I'll delete my vector A. And I'll delete this vector. Because now I only want the point A and the vector B, 1,3 and then a line starting in A in direction given by vector B. So I'll make the point capital letter A equal to 2 comma 2. There it is. Now I want to make the line. So I'll make the line given by a point and a di direction vector. The point is A and the vector being B. Here I got the line make the line red. Up here I can see the line showing it's an equation. If I want it in a parametric form showing the vectors, there it is. Well, not easily red. Now it is. 0.22 and the vector being 1, comma 3. Now it's not shown quite in the right fashion, but that's the way it is. Coming to problems I have to do in the beta version because they are in 3D. So I have the beta version here behind. So I should make the vector a equal to 2 comma 1 comma 1. a equal to 2 comma 1 comma 1. It is in space. I cannot see it. But if I want to view the 3D win window, there it is, and maybe not view the graphics window to get more space, here I've got my vector now. I can rotate it and see where it is. That is. And the vector b should be equal to 1, comma, 3, comma, 1. That is. And I want to make the sum. c equals to a plus b, as before. Now I want to make them be different colors. So the vector a, I want to be red and the vector B I want to be blue and the C vector well it could be still black there they are and as before I make want to make the drawing showing 
how vector b could start off in the point 2, 1, 1. So I'll make a drawing now. Vector. The starting point and the end point. And the starting point should be where where vector A ends, 2, comma 1, comma 1. And the end point should be where the vector C ends, 3, 4, 2. Here I've got it. Now oh, I want this one to be blue. And maybe I do not want this one to be shown. And again I have three vectors. You can see how one the one added to the other, the blue added to the red, gives the black one. Enough of them. I only want to use my vector B now. And I don't want to view the other ones. So now they're hidden. I've only got my vector B. And then I want to have a point A equals to 2, comma 2, comma 0. There it is. It's not easy to see. Well, I'll make it in a another color. And I could make it a little bit wider or whatever. Through that point, you see it here, down in the XY level. Through that point I want to make a line now. So I want to make a line through the point A and in the direction of B. Here it is. And I can see the line and I can rotate again to see the line going in the same direction as vector B. It's parallel with vector B. And this ends the video on vectors.